Stories of heroism still rising out of a dark day in Dumas as the community continues to heal from one of the largest shootings in Arkansas history. Good evening and thanks for joining us for Fox 16 News. I'm Kevin Kelly. On Saturday, one person was killed, another 26 shot during a car show in Dumas. Our Jessica Rank joining us live in studio this evening. And Jessica, lots of people sprung into action when those gunshots rang out, but one man now being hailed a hero tonight. Well, yeah, Kevin, Jarius Hampton says it was a move of instinct. You see someone hurt, you take them to safety. But in this case, it was one of the youngest shot that's now recovering in part thanks to actions from a complete stranger. It just happened so fast. Jarius Hampton walks this empty parking lot for the first time in a week. All that remains from Saturday, a few cans and ripped tape. I was just thinking, man, it couldn't be true. It couldn't be true. A sunny day turned dark when a shooter opened fire in the middle of a crowded event. Hampton and his friends took cover. It was like stepping on a pile of ants. It was people everywhere. 27 shot. Today, one-year-old Angelo Ussery Jr., the youngest victim, is at home recovering. Something made possible thanks to Hampton. If it was my child, I'd do the same thing. In the minutes that followed, shell casings hit the floor. Hampton's eyes turned to Ussery, who he says was laying on the ground beside him. I just I picked him up and I carried him up to the highway. His focus turned. The only thing that mattered, getting the child to safety. I was just holding him, telling him it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay. I wasn't gonna leave him. Hampton says he had an officer drive him to the hospital. Where he stayed with the child for 20 minutes until mom and dad showed up. I shook their hand, gave him a hug, and I was gone on about my day. Hampton says he did what was right and hopes as the days pass, this community can start to heal. I know it's going to take time, but everything will get better. Now, we did reach out to mom whose other child, Aaliyah, was also shot at the event. She didn't want to comment today, but we did speak to her on Monday, and she says she's thankful both of her children are alive and for the continued support of the community. Live in studio, I'm just Kareem for Fox 16 News.